bless you for your greatness. We bless you for your strength. We bless you for joy. We bless you for healing. We bless you, God, for doing it. We bless you for releasing. We bless you for turning it around. We bless you for making it whole. We bless you, God, for doing it in the spirit. How many of you know that he's doing it right now? How many of you know that he's doing it right now? Y'all don't act like you know that he's doing it right now. How many of you know that he's doing it right now? I hope you got somebody that's going to help you praise God. I hope you're sitting beside somebody that's going to help you bless him. I hope you're sitting beside somebody that's going to help you give God glory. I hope you ain't sitting beside nobody that's stingy with their praise. But I hope you're sitting beside a praiser. I hope you're sitting beside somebody that want to give God glory tonight in this house. Who am I talking to in this place? Open up your mouth and give God glory. 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 Come on and bless him like you got it. Bless him like it's here. Bless him like you're walking in it. Bless him like it's your time. Bless him like it's your season. Bless him like it's your hour. Bless him like it's your day. Bless him like it's your time. Bless him like it's your era. Bless him like God has already sent your answer. Bless him like you got your answer. Bless him like your answer is here. Bless him like the power is here. Bless him like your children are revived. Bless him like your house is saved. Bless him like your child is delivered. Bless him like they already got it. Bless him like it's already here. I need somebody to open up your mouth. Throw back your head and give God glory. Give God praise. Give God glory. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the holler. He's worthy of your hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. You made it through a pandemic. You made it through COVID. You made it through pneumonia. You made it through death. You made it through death attacks. You made it through setbacks. You made it through hindrances. You made it through the words of the witch. Now I need somebody with the real praise. Open up your mouth. Give God glory. Open up your mouth and give him praise. Open up your mouth and give him glory. Open up your mouth and give God praise. Somebody shout, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for a miracle. I'm ready for a breakthrough. I'm ready to see God do it. I'm ready to see God do it. I'm ready to see God do it. By the time I get back home, something gonna be waiting for me. By the time I get back home, something getting ready to shift. By the time I get back home, something getting ready to happen. Something getting ready to happen. Something getting ready to happen. If you believe it, open up your mouth. Give God glory. Praise him like you got power. Praise him like it's your time. Praise him like you got it. Praise him like it's in your house. Praise him like it's in your house. And we thank you, Lord, 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 Somebody look at your neighbor beside you and tell your neighbor, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for a miracle. I'm ready for a breakthrough. I'm ready for God to do it. I'm ready to take ownership. I'm ready to buy it. I'm ready to own it. I'm ready to have it. I'm ready to elevate. I'm ready to go up higher. I'm ready. Open up your mouth. Him and we thank him and we give him glory and we love him. He's 
wonderful, he's kind, he's matchless, he's a miracle worker, he's a light in darkness, he's my friend, he's my everything, he's my shepherd, he's my mighty messiah, he's my risen savior, y'all like y'all don't know who I'm talking about, he's my risen savior, he's the only one, he's the only one that can do it, the only one that can save, the only one that can manifest it, the only one that can do it, can't no Buddha do it, can't Allah do it, your sage can't do it, but it's a job for Jesus, somebody in here know Jesus, bless him hallelujah and we thank him we glory i'm ready to preach hallelujah Come on, tell somebody it's a job for Jesus. I can't hear nobody. Come on, find you somebody that know there's power in the name of Jesus. And tell them what I got on the altar. You can't do it, baby. So I'm not going to pray to you and I'm not going to praise you. What I got on the altar, I ain't got nobody to call to work this one out. It's a job for Jesus. It's a job for Jesus. And we bless him, 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 we bless him. I love him, 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 I love him. I love him, 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 I love him. I praise him, I praise him, I praise him, I praise him, I worship him, I worship him, I worship I adore him, I adore him, I adore him, I lift him up. Who come up? See some of y'all, you you two used to calling on your own name, but I lift him up, I lift him up, I lift him up, I lift him up, I exalt him. Ah, we bless the Lord and ready to go straight to the world. Ooh. Ooh. Glory to God. I'm ready to go straight to the word. We honor the set man of God. We honor the Archbishop. There is nobody like Archbishop Hudson. The world couldn't handle two Archbishop Hudsons, I promise you. No, no, the earth could not handle that. So we praise God for the one and only, bless the Lord, the one and only Archbishop. Come on, let's bless God for him, our leader. We thank God for him. We thank God for my sister. Oh, I love her. I love her. I love her. She is beautiful. She is fine. She is fly. Come on, somebody. She is brilliant. Come on, somebody. She is extremely wealthy. Come on, somebody. And y'all, I don't know if y'all know like I do, but she got the best candles this side of heaven in Jesus' name. I don't even buy no more bath and body works candles. I only buy her candles. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I do. I love her and I thank God for her. To all of the men and women of God and to the butter on my popcorn, the sugar in my Kool-Aid, the cherry to my hot fudge Sunday, my baby daddy, my big daddy, my boyfriend for life. I love me some Derek Ryan. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love me some Derek Ryan. We are the parents of seven and we have eight grandchildren. My children need another hobby. I don't know. I don't understand. Hallelujah, they need to take up knitting or something or basket weaving or something like that. Every other day I get another text, Mom, wait a minute. Okay, so we do, we bless the Lord. They are indeed fruitful and multiplying. And I praise God for them. <laughs> Let's go straight to the word of God. To the book of Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter, beginning with verse 10. We're going to go through verse 12. Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter. I want to read it from the NIV version. It may read a little bit different from the KJV. Hallelujah. But there's a word that's going to bless you tonight. Praise God for Mother Riley. Glory to God. Bless God for Mother Riley. And uh, evangelist Darlene Allen Nichols. I praise God for them. These are some preaching women. And I praise God that I'm able to stand on their shoulders. Yeah, they opened the door for so many, many women of God like myself. And I do. I praise God and I honor them. And to all of God's people. Let's go. When you have Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter, beginning with verse 10 through 12. Shout yes with a loud voice. Yes. Okay, you got to shout yes like you got power, okay? Yes. Shout yes with a loud voice. And the Bible says, Deuteronomy 11, verse 10 through 12, the Bible says, The land you are entering to take over is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you planted your seed and irrigated by foot as a vegetable garden. But the land you are crossing the Jordan to take possession of. This is not a land that you'll be renting. This is not a land that you will be subleasing.
blessing. This is not a land that will not be in your name. This is a land that will be in your name and not somebody else's name. I can't hear nobody up in here. This is not a land that you will have to sit around and you ain't got to go back and forth on no negotiating, trying to outbid somebody going through a bidding war. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here going through a bidding war. And by the time they, and you ain't going to pay, hallelujah, 12 times and 12,000 more times the value of the land. Y'all don't want to have no church. Up but the land you are going in to possess is a land of mountains and valleys that drink rain from heaven. Somebody shout from heaven, from heaven, from heaven, from heaven, from heaven. It is a land that, that the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I'm going to read that part again. The Bible says it is a land that your the land that your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord, your God, are continually on it from January 1st until December 31st. Look at your neighbor. If your neighbor don't shout, elbow them and then grab your Bible, your coat and move beside somebody that's got a real good praise. Look at your neighbor. Give them my sermon topic. If they don't shout, you know you got to move. But if they do shout, both of y'all be dead free by the end of the year. Shout like every student loan, mortgage, credit card bill, medical bill. Shout like every, every last one of them paid out. And you got a zero balance. Open up your mouth and shout. Look at your neighbor and shout, neighbor, everything is about to change. That was the wrong neighbor. They don't believe God. Find you somebody else with the Holy Ghost. Look at them real good and shout, neighbor, everything is about to change. Now touch everybody around you and shout, it's going to change, change, change. Your bank account changing. Your living conditions changing. Where you live changing. Your career's changing. Your tax bracket changing. Your status changing. Everything about you, you're in the midst of a change. Now open up your mouth, throw back your head, and shout glory. Oh. Everything, everything, ooh, ooh, hanta de boho, everything, ooh, shaka bo basita, everything. Every, the hard thing is getting ready to change. The impossible thing is getting ready to change. That diagnosis, they gonna change the diagnosis. What they saw on the last doctor visit, they won't see on the next doctor's visit. Because everything, including your health, is getting ready to change. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated, be seated, be seated, be seated. I don't care if that child on drugs right now, they getting ready to change. I don't care if the devil got them in a headlock right now, they got to lose them and let them go. They get ready. Oh. Be seated for 13 seconds. God told me to tell you, powerhouse. God told me to tell you that you are coming out on top and that you are not going under. Uh -huh. Y'all don't know, you don't know when to shout. You are coming out on top and you will not go under. Gone are the days of you being the last one, the least one, or the one looked over. 
Gone are the days of you being the last one, the least one, or the one looked over. Gone are the days where you have to settle for somebody else's leftovers. Gone are the, the only time you will eat leftovers over the next 13 months is if you just want to. But it ain't going to be because that's all you got. God said, I'm giving you prime time. I'm giving you first choice. My God, y'all don't know when to shout. I need somebody to look at the person beside you and let them know you have been anointed for options. You don't have to take the first thing offered to you. God said you've been anointed for options. You better get ready to make your pick. You better get ready to take your pick. My God, you better get ready to name your price. I know I don't know who I'm talking to in here, but God said he's going to call some people to look over those who were ahead of you and come find you. And they got one question for you. Name your price. What will it take for me to work with you? You better get used to the fact of getting the strength and a tip. Lord have mercy. Gone are the days of somebody pimping you out of your gift. Pimping you out of your anointing. Pimping you out of your talent. Pimping dead. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here. Pimping dead. My uncle might say something else, but Pippin did. Gone are the days of you being the last one, the least one, or the one looked over. Uh -huh. I need you to declare over your life that everything I touch increases. Everything, when I put my hands on it, it's going to grow. Come on here. What my hairstyle is at? I remember the hairstylist from back in the day. They said she got growing hands. I declare in the name of Jesus that you got a growing hand anointing. That everything you put your hands on, you getting ready to grow it back. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here. You going to grow it back from what's been pulled out from what was yanked out from what was not properly taken care of God said he's anointing your hands to grow it back now somebody think I'm talking about hair but I need somebody to catch this in the realm of the spirit I am anointed to grow some stuff I am anointed to multiply some stuff when he get in my hand I bless it when he get in my hand God multiplies it when he get in my hand just let me get my hands on it. 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 Let me get my hands on it. I'm going to make it do what it do. Let me get my hands on it. I'm going to turn it into something else. Let me get my hands on it. I'm going to shape it. Let me get my... See, in your hand, it's a losing hand. In my hand, I'm a run to Boston. Let me get my hands on it. Everything that you touch increase Woo in my fire. over the next 14 months get ready powerhouse pilgrim get ready I declare in the name of Jesus uh, that after this year the next year in the years to come your ministry will increase your business will increase your worship and your giving will increase your nation will increase your territory will increase uh, I declare in the name of Jesus that more and more is your new normal somebody declare that over your life uh, more and more is my new normal more and more hoo -hoo, it's my new normal you cannot stay small and stop referring to yourself as something small you are not a small business owner you are not a small ministry you are not a small man of God you don't have a small church you don't have a small organization stop calling yourself something that God did not call you because everything with that God does is a big deal and I declare in the name of Jesus that your faith won't stay small your vision won't stay small your finances won't stay small your influence won't stay small your platform won't stay small your ideas creativity and strength will not stay small your business will not stay small and your favor will not stay small somebody shout I'm allergic to small I'm allergic to small I'm also allergic to small thinking small vision small dreams small talk one thing I love about my husband my husband is a, a tall man glory to God he's 5'7 y'all don't want to have no church up in here uh huh he's 5'7 but he's a tall man because one thing about it even though he may be the small, the shorter man in the room he the, he the tallest one in statue he the tallest one in confidence he 
Peter Thomas one. He said, baby, I never knew I was short. He said, I never knew that others were taller than me. He said, because one thing about it, they may be big, but I'm quick. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here. They may be big, but I can knock them. Y'all don't want to have no church up in The Bible says... The Bible says, Job 8 and 7 from the KJV, though your beginning was small, yet your latter end will greatly increase. Though your beginning was small, your latter end will greatly increase. That same scripture, Job 8 and 7 from the message version of the Bible. I need you to write that down. Job 8 and 7 from the message version of the Bible reads like this. Even though you're not much right now, you will end up better than ever. Lord, help me to preach up in here. Even though you may not be much right now, you gonna end up better than ever. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that when it's all over said and done, that you will not go out of this year how you came in. Oh, y'all don't want to have no trouble. You will not go out how you came in. Though you may not be much right now, where you at is simply where you at, because where you at is not where you going to be. I declare in the name of Jesus that God is doing a shift in your life, and you're going to end up better somebody shout better than ever we are in a place in the time of dispensation where anything can happen the Bible says in Genesis 18 and 14 the Bible says that Sarai asked the angel the question is anything too hard for the Lord at the appointed time I will return to you and about this time next year you shall have a son the Bible says in Jeremiah 32 and 17 our Lord God it is you who made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm nothing is too hard for you the Bible says in Luke 1 and 37 from the passion translation not one promise from God is empty of power not one promise from God is empty of power nothing is impossible with God you better get ready woman of God man of God because you have shifted into the season where anything can happen it ain't gonna make no sense what God is about to do in your life it ain't gonna make no sense how God is about to elevate you it ain't gonna make sense how God is about to work a work in your life I'm in a season where anything can happen you can buy a house with the 450 credit score anything can happen you can have a business with no capital anything can happen you don't even have to have a building but sell out of all of your products off the shelves because anything can happen I declare in the name of Jesus that you may have the smallest amount of staff you may have the smallest budget but God is about to give you the biggest profit in the name of Jesus somebody open up your mouth and shout anything can happen I wish I would limit God over the next 14 months I wish I would put the brakes on God uh, over the next 14 months. Uh, I wish I would say God that's too much uh, over the next 14 months. Uh, now God anyway you bless me. Uh, I'll be satisfied. Uh, if however you want to do it, do it. Uh, however you want to move, move. Uh, however you want to go, go. Uh, you have my full cooperation. You have my full attention. Uh, you have my full respect. Uh, anything uh, can uh, happen. Do you know that a lot can happen in 26 days? Uh, I don't need you to be so in a hurry to get to 2022 uh, that you leave some unresolved miracles uh, on the altar in 2021. Uh, I need some folk up in here tonight uh, who says, God, you know what? I'm going to get everything you got for me. Uh, I'm not going to check out a 21 uh, and I still got some stuff on the altar. Uh, I'm not going to check out a 21 uh, and I still got some stuff that ain't been done. Uh, but God, a lot can happen uh, over the next 26 days uh, and I declare in the name of Jesus uh, that anything uh, is getting ready to happen for who? For you. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and give God glory. Be seated for 14 seconds. If there's anything that we learned 
in 2021, this year, we learned that some things had to fall apart in order for some stuff to fall in place. If there's anything that we learned this year, we learned that God, God will shut down some stuff to open up something totally different. Come on here, somebody. How, how what my people of God at her? In the pandemic, glory be to God. Huh? You never felt what other folk felt. You were like, you know what? Huh? They may be on the bottom, but God, I see you moving. Huh? God, I see you blessing. Huh? God, may wait, what in the world is going on? Huh? God, you done did more in a shutdown huh, than you did when stuff was wide open. Huh? God, what in the world is going on? Huh? I ain't got the same story y'all got. Huh? Lord have mercy. Anybody over here other than me? Huh? You just been quiet. Huh? You just been moving. Huh? You just been stacking and banking and praising. Huh? You saying, you know what I see y'all say? Y'all going hungry. Huh? Baby, I gained weight on the pandemic. I don't know about nobody. Still trying to lose it. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here. I said, what is starving folk at? Because I ain't starving. I ain't, hey, hey, hey. So some things had to fall apart, hey glory, in order to fall in place, uh huh. Lord have mercy. Uh -huh. For many of us scriptures like 1 Peter 5 and 10 took on a whole different meaning where the Bible says, but may the God of all grace who has called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after you have suffered a while. Ooh, y'all. After looks so good right there in that scripture because after lets me know that what I was in got an expiration date. After you have uh, suffered why after looks so good right there uh, because after lets me know uh, that trouble don't last always uh, after you have suffered why after looks so good right there uh, because after lets me know I'm not gonna die in what I mean uh, I'm not gonna eat hallelujah I'm not gonna drown in what I mean uh, after you have suffered a while the Bible says uh, that may the God of all grace uh, he will perfect you somebody shall perfect he will establish you, shall establish. He will strengthen and settle you. When we look at the word perfect in the Bible, it does not mean perfect. Where everything is, perfect is something, that something is the best, that it can absolutely, it's the best of the best. He said, I'm going to perfect it, which means this is the best that it's going to get for a certain time span, but it's not the best that it's going to always be. There's another level. Look at the person beside you and let them know there's another level. Oh, there's another level. There's another level uh, there's another level perfect means uh, that it is the best that it can possibly be and then the bible says uh, that he will establish you what is establish uh, establish means to be set up uh, establish means to have uh, an advantage uh, in other words establish means uh, that you have been jumped to the front uh, will you look at the person beside you uh, and let them know that god is getting ready to show you uh, that the last two years uh, was nothing more than a set up because God was working on something all along he was building your testimony all along you couldn't see it you didn't know all the details you didn't know all the ins and outs but I declare in the name of Jesus that what God has been preparing you for the last 24 months has given you an advantage so just some rules just simply do not apply to you when you've been set up when you've been set up that means that you may have been the last one one to get there but you the first one to go up you was the last one higher but the first one promoted the last one to arrive but the first one to elevate will you look at the person beside you and let them know we've been jumped to the front lord help me in here uh-huh your wait time has been decreased you've been jumped to the front your waiting period has been cut in half you've been jumped to the front why will you jump because you were faithful in the thing that should have killed you you were faithful in the thing that was designed to take you out you were faithful in the thing that the devil said you wasn't gonna never make it out of is there anybody in here other than me you ain't just come through no small thing you came through the hell and high water you didn't
didn't just walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Uh, your death was knocking on your door. Uh, but look at God. Thanks be unto God. Uh, December 5th, 2021. Uh, here you are when the doctor said in August of 2020 uh, that you wasn't going to make it. You wasn't going to come out. I'm talking about me now. You wasn't going to live. Uh, they give you three days to live. Uh, and then they say you wasn't going to preach again. Uh, they said I wasn't going to sing again. Uh, they said that I would never, I would always be on oxygen. Uh, y'all didn't know I had COVID. Uh, y'all didn't know I whooped COVID cat raggedy. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here. Uh, y'all don't want to have no church up in here. Uh, uh-huh. And when the doctor said, uh, told my husband, gave my husband three days, uh, and it looked real bad. Uh, he had to try to prepare himself uh, to live without me. Uh, he said, then he had to shake himself and say, wait a minute, what is you doing? Uh, your wife shall live and not die uh, to declare the works of the Lord. Uh, she can't die right now because she got more to do. Uh, she can't die right now because she got more to see. Uh, is there anybody in here other than me? Uh, glory be to God uh, that God says I'm going to cause the thing that should have killed you uh, to be your limousine driver uh, to take you first class uh, to your miracle. Uh, somebody open up your mouth uh, and give God praise because uh, I've been jumped to the front. Uh, I've been jumped. Touch three people around you and tell them I've been jumped to the front. Uh, I've been jumped to the front. Uh, I've been jumped to the front. Then the Bible says, Lord God, let me keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Uh Uh-huh. I need to tell about 22 praises in here that the last time was the last time. Y'all don't know when to shout. Y'all looking at me like you Catholic. The last time was the last time. God told me to tell you Nahum 1 and 9. The Bible says, and this affliction will not arise a second time. If the devil couldn't kill you in 2020, if he couldn't take you out over the last 11 months, he ain't gonna be able to light a candle to you. He ain't gonna be able to touch you now. The last time was the last time. Somebody say, well, you can't say last time the last time. No, you can't say that, but I can. And I'm going to tell you why. Because understand something. When you gain victory in a thing, you gain authority in a thing. When you gain victory over something, you got authority over that thing. Y'all, honey, oh, oh, baby. Victory is a sign that I gain authority. When you look at something square to eye, eye to eye, elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder, chest to chest, and you don't bag down from from nothing huh? when it tries to come up again huh? you got to remind it don't you remember I whooped you last year huh? don't you remember that God huh? my God has and so now huh? when they start coming up with all these COVID variants huh? all I do is laugh huh? when they start coming up I say let them go through Alpha huh? let them go through Lima Kilo huh? um, uh, Amarican huh? um, Amarion huh? I don't care who they go let them go through all of it huh? cause one thing about it huh? God whooped you last year and he'll whoop you again for he is the same yesterday today and forevermore he does not change he does not lie y'all don't know when to shout up in him everybody that had covid and you standing here today you ain't on no oxygen you ain't on no breathing treatment you ain't laying in a morgue you ain't laying in a mausoleum open up your mouth and let the devil know you try but it will not work you tried it but it did not work what the devil meant for bad God use it to bless me okay here it is be seated When you gain victory, you got authority. When you got victory, you got a. Th- 
when you gain victory, you got authority. Oh, Lord, have mercy. When you gain victory in poverty, you got authority over poverty. So you can speak to the poverty in somebody else's life and tell them it ain't no secret what God can do. If he got it out of my life, he can get it out of yours too. When you got victory, you got authority. Be seated, 12 more seconds. So here in the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy is known as a book of reminders. Uh -huh. The Greek word of Deuteronomy means to say a second time. Mm -hmm. It is a series of reminders that Moses, he, he, he crafted, he built, he wrote um, 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 these a series of books uh, as his, as his uh, earthly assignment was concluding in the earth realm. And Moses echoes one word to the children of Israel throughout the entire book. And that one word is obedience. I know y'all don't like that word. It's a bad word. Obedience. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 and 1. If you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully follow all of his commands I give you today, the Lord, your God, will set you high above all the nations on the earth. Obedience. Somebody shout ob obedience. Obedience is not convenience. It was never designed to be convenient. You can't obey God when you agree with him. You have to obey God in the areas that you agree with and the areas that you disagree with. That's maturity, saints. Uh huh. Uh huh. Obedience is not optional. Uh, in, in over the next 14 months, beloved, you cannot do it your way. You got to do it Yahweh. Over the next 14 months, hear me well. You cannot do it your way. You got to do it Yah. How he says it is how it. Mm. How he says it is how it's got to be And it cannot be no bargaining going back Okay God well I'll do this if you let me do that If you let me do this I'll do that uh -uh. When he tells you you got to obey God right then When he tells you to go on a fast You cannot argue with him and go back and forth And saying well they got a potluck at my job today And I got to do And I got to go to the potluck And I got to do all that Uh, -uh. When God says turn your plate down You got to turn your plate down When God says get up and pray You cannot sit and argue with God At 3 a.m. at 3.18 when he wakes you up at 318 in the morning telling you to get up and pray and you saying no nah, Lord and you just trying to pray from your bed but God says get up get up get up get up you can't pray from your bed like a convenience you can't pray from your bed with the on the cool side of the pillow snug real good in the in the covers with the with the heated blanket on and you trying to pray like that when God clearly told you to get up and pray y'all don't want to have no church when God clearly told you to get up and pray you cannot do it your way you have to do it exactly how God says it you have to do it exactly how God command even when he tells you to pray for the ex that got a knife in your back who running you down all over Facebook uh, they putting out lies all about you uh, they uh, uh, you ain't got time to be trying to defend a lie in 2022 you ain't got time to be trying to go back and forth you ain't got time and you don't have the space the grace or the mental capacity to be able to argue with folks in the comments on Facebook uh, just block them and keep on going I wish I would argue with some crazy retarded uh, can't illiterate can't even read constipated folk on, on Facebook y'all unhappy and miserable people on Facebook who don't even know who I am don't know nothing about me I don't have time because one thing about it in this next over the next 14 months you won't even have to explain yourself or give an explanation for how God moving in your life for how God blessing you for how God is setting you up you don't oh no you better get used to not having to explain anything some of y'all when you post a picture you got a lot explanation about why I got this why I got that think whatever you want to think y'all don't want to have no church up in here you ain't got time to in the space the grace the mental capacity to be able to go back and forth trying to explain how God is doing in your how God doing it and what God is doing in your life truth be told I don't even know how God doing this truth be told I don't even know how God is moving on my behalf I'm just as confused as y'all is I don't make no sense to me neither I'm still trying to figure it out but truth be told I really ain't trying to figure nothing out I'm just going with God God you know what if they got a problem with the way God is blessing you tell them to take it up with God y'all don't want to have no church up in here you don't owe nobody an explanation for your favor you don't owe nobody an explanation for your blessing one thing about it people can count your money but they can't count your favor try to count it
Obedience is not optional. The Bible says in Isaiah 1, 19 from the Amplified Version, the Bible says, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the best of the land. The Bible says in James 1, 22 from the NLT Version, the Bible says, but don't just be a listener to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. The Bible says in Exodus 23, verse 25 through 26 from the Message Version of the Bible, the Bible says, says but you you serve God and serve God alone when you serve God your God he will bless your food he will bless your water he will get rid of the sickness among you there won't be any miscarriages nor barren women in your land I will make sure that you live a full and complete life let me read that again Exodus 23 verse 25 through 26 from the message version of the Bible but you somebody says she's talking to me but you, you serve your God. He'll bless your food. He'll bless your water. It don't matter what kind of chemicals they put in the food. When you serve God, your God, he'll bless your food and he bless your water. They'll eat the same thing you eat. They'll check out and, and, and run dead and you will live another 70 years. He'll get rid of the sickness among you. Lord, have mercy. Somebody declare, can't touch this. Why? Because I'm obeying God. There won't be any miscarriages nor barren women in your land. Now, this ain't for me, but this was somebody who really wanted it. God says over the next 14 months, uh, somebody, you better get the nursery ready. Uh, you better get the diaper bag. You better get the onesies. Uh, you better get that ready because God says uh, by this time next year, you going to have a child in your arms. Uh, it ain't for me, but who is for y'all celebrate with them. Uh, glory to God. He said, I will make sure <laughs> you live full and complete lives full and complete lives full and complete lives glory to God <laughs> Moses writes these 34 chapters over a 40 day span reminding Israel don't forget what God said based on what you see he writes 34 chapters over 40 days reminding Israel don't you forget what God said based on what it looked like right now don't you forget what God promised over your life based on what you see what you hear on the news or what's going on around you look at your neighbor tell your neighbor don't you forget what God says over the next 14 months your faith will be on trial your faith will be tested a faith that cannot be that has not been tested is a faith that cannot be trusted and so your faith will be on trial you got to remember what God says when it seemed like you the only one that agree you got to remember what God says when it seems like you're the only one that still believing now you got to remember what God says because Moses is letting them know y'all ain't gonna have me in the earth realm and so y'all got to remember what God says when your favorite person is not there you got to remember what God says when your favorite intercessor won't pick up the phone you got to remember what God says somebody declare I got a promise over my life and for those of you who got a real good praise right there Moses wrote a book of reminders in 40 days can I tell somebody don't you put no limits on God cause you don't know what God gonna do in your life over the next 40 days I declare by January 14th you're gonna be walking in a supernatural season you're gonna see an elevation like never before now for those of you who ain't clapping who ain't shouting right there glory be to God don't get mad at those of us that when January 14th we got the proof of our praise in our hand don't get mad at me when you, when you see me walking with what God promised me glory be to God uh -huh, the Bible says in Deuteronomy
Deuteronomy 11 and 10, the Bible says that the land that you are entering to take over is not like the land of Egypt. It's not like the land in which where you've come from. In other words, Moses is letting them know what you are about to walk into will not look like what you just walked out of. What you are about to walk into will not resemble what you just came out of. Can I prophesy the 22 praises in here that when you walk into your next season, it ain't going to feel like the last season. It ain't going to look like the last season. And you better not act like you're still in the last season. In this next hour, you can't act like you stole it when you sold for it. Is there anybody in here other than me? My God, you've been paying on your miracle for the last 24 months. And I'm not going to get to my blessed place and have my head hung down low. Hiding my blessing, the devil is a lie. If they saw you struggle, if they saw you cry, if they saw you going through, they got to see God restore everything that he said is yours. Don't you hide your miracle. Put it on front street. Ain't nobody going to steal it because you paid for it. Look at the neighbor beside you and let them know I paid for it. When you get to your promise, don't you have the mentality of a prisoner. You better get ready, men and women of God, because you're going to walk in some rooms over the next 14 months. And you may be the only person that look like you. You may be the only person that sound like you. But don't you dare shrink or diminish, because God got you there on an assignment. You carry what somebody needs. Will you tell your neighbor, you don't know who you're sitting beside, because I may be carrying your answer. I may be carrying your solution. I may be carrying what you need from God. So don't look at me by what I'm driving. Don't size me up by how I look right now, because God is doing a work in my life. You better get ready, men and women of God. He's going to take some unsuspecting people, some people that don't even look like the part, some people that don't even look like they ought to be there, and they're going to be the keynote speaker. Lord, y'all don't want to have no church up in here. They're going to be looking around trying to figure out who did she sleep with to get here? What did she do to get here? Who did he sell out to get here? Ain't sold out nobody, but for the last 24 months, I've been on the backside of the desert. I've been on my face with God. I've been walking with Jesus. I declare in Jesus' name that by the time you get to your blessed place, everybody gonna know that you've been walking with God. I look like I walk with him. I sound like I walk with him. I feel like I walk with him. I act like I walk with him. Tell your neighbor, don't you shrink. Don't you shrink. You better speak it with your chest. You better say it in bold letters. You better say it out loud. That God is on my side. And if God be for me, he's greater than any witch or warlock. Yes, God, in your first thing, you got to know that you sold for it. The second thing is this. The Bible says, hallelujah, that the land where you're going in, it ain't like the land that you walked out of, where you sowed your seed and you had to irrigate the fields. But the Bible says that your land you're going to, it drinks from the rainwaters of heaven. It drinks from the rainwaters of heaven. Not only did you sow for it, but you got to understand men and women of God uh, that this next 14 months uh, God has it supernaturally supplied. Uh, your next 14 months uh, will be supernaturally supplied. Uh, it ain't gonna come from man. Uh, it's gonna come from God. Uh, the Bible says uh, in 1 Kings 17 and 4, uh, the Bible says that, he, the, that God told the prophet Elijah, uh, he said drink from the brook and eat what the ravens brought you. Uh, for I have commanded Commanded them to bring you food. Somebody shout my next season. It's supernaturally supplied. Look at what God did. Only the great big God that we serve can cause a 
a raven to turn uh, against its own natural uh, instinct. Uh, a raven is a stingy bird. Uh, a raven is a low down bird. Uh, a raven will starve its own children uh, just to feed itself. Uh, but when your season is supernaturally supplied, uh, God will call some things uh, to turn against their own nature uh, just to supply for you. Uh, I need to let somebody know uh, you ain't gonna go in the next 14 months uh, pull mouthing and begging uh, you ain't gonna have to beg for nothing uh, because God got it supernaturally supplied uh, before a need comes up uh, he's already made the way uh, the Bible says uh, in 2 Chronicles 25 and 9 uh, that Amaziah asked the man of God uh, what about the hundred talents we pay for these Israelite troops uh, the man of God replied uh, in 2 Chronicles 25 and 9 uh, that the Lord can give you uh, much more than that uh, will you look at your neighbor uh, and tell your neighbor uh, that God can do uh, much more than that uh, it don't matter how much they offering you uh, you better stick with God uh, cause God can do uh, much more than that uh, can't nobody outdo God uh, he's the only God that can outdo himself uh, the Bible says uh, in 1 Kings 17 uh, verse 16 uh, the Bible says that the jar of flour was never empty uh, and the jug of oil uh, never ran out uh, for God did uh, he did just what he promised to Elijah uh, will you tell your neighbor your next season uh, is supernaturally supplied uh, your oil ain't gonna run out uh, you won't see the bottom of the barrel uh, you won't see the end of a thing uh, right when it looks like it's getting low huh? all of a sudden you look away and look again huh? and it's back on full huh? is there anybody in here other than me huh? hallelujah that understand huh? you can't be God's given huh? no matter how hard you try huh? your next season is supernaturally supplied huh? don't try to figure it out huh? don't try to guess who did it huh? don't try to guess who is going to come through huh? when you think it's going to come from the right huh? God going to do it from the left huh? when you think it's going to come from the front huh? God going to pull it up through the back huh? he takes the foolish things of the world huh? to confound the wise huh? and everything is about to change huh? will you go touch three people huh? and let them know that God huh? is about to change everything on your behalf huh? y'all ain't get up at your seat and touch nobody huh? look at somebody on your row huh? and tell your neighbor huh? everything is about to change huh? everything is about to change huh? everything is about to upgrade huh? get ready for an upgrade huh? get ready for promotion huh? get ready for elevation huh? the Bible says uh, in Deuteronomy verse 12 uh, the Bible says that the Lord uh, his eyes are always upon it uh, from the beginning of the year uh, to the end of the year uh, I need to let somebody know uh, that over the next year uh, you won't see catastrophe uh, over the next year uh, you won't experience devastation uh, over the next year uh, you won't experience death uh, because the hand of the Lord uh, the eyes of the Lord uh, are upon your year uh, from the beginning to the end uh, how you went in uh, you gonna come out greater uh, how you go in uh, you gonna come out with more power uh, we gonna finish this year strong uh, and start the next year strong uh, cause everything uh, is about to change uh, will you touch your neighbor uh, and tell your neighbor uh, that God will uh, see us through uh, he'll crown the year with bounty uh, I declare in Jesus name uh, that you won't see a deficit uh, you won't see failure uh, you won't see death uh, you won't see depression uh, you won't see suicide uh, but they shall live uh, to declare the works of the Lord uh, will you find you somebody uh, that's got a real praise uh, and shout neighbor uh, I gotta remind you uh, that everything uh, it's getting ready to change Your address just change Your zip code just change Your area code just change You relocating To a new place You better get the boxes Start putting up a for sale sign How you gonna decorate How you gonna paint that room How you gonna furnish that room Your whole life Is getting ready to change Your anointing Will match your lifestyle You won't live one way And have another 
away in the poor pit. If you're blessed in the poor pit, you gonna be blessed at home. In the name of Jesus, your hallelujah. I declare that even your children shall know your God. Gone are the days, hallelujah, of your children serving one God and you serving another God. I declare in Jesus' name that your children, as for me and my house, as for me and my seed, as for me and my daughter, as for me and my son, we will serve the Lord. We're going to pray together. You better get ready. I declare in Jesus' name that the funeral is canceled. You won't have a funeral. You won't see a funeral. That funeral for your child. That funeral for your loved one. God just ripped it up. He ripped up the obituary. Instead of a funeral, get ready for revival. Instead of a burial, get ready for revival. Because everything is getting ready to change. Grab you a neighbor. Grab you somebody with the Holy Ghost. Look at that neighbor, shake that neighbor, y'all ain't shaking nobody, shake that neighbor, shake their pain, shake off the disappointment, shake off the embarrassment, shake off the poverty, shake off the frustration, shake off intimidation, shake off fear, shake off sickness, shake off bondage, shake off tumors, shake it off, shake them good, and shall neighbor that's not me shaking you but that's the holy ghost changing your life that's the holy ghost changing the narrative that's the holy ghost that's the holy ghost that's the holy ghost that's the holy ghost Ghost. he's coming in he's making it right he's making it good he's making it whole that's the holy ghost Turning it around, late in the midnight hour. God will, God will, God will. He'll turn it around. It's got to work in your favor. Do me one more favor, and I'll leave you alone. But tell the neighbor, you survived what should have killed you. You survived what should have hurt you. You survived. What should have messed you up? You survived. What should have destroyed you? And God says, I'm getting ready to change everything. 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 Everything concerning you. Your house. Your mind. Your spirit. Your children. Your money is getting ready to change. Shout it, yes, yes. It's changing. It's changing. It's changing, it's changing, for I reckon, 
Everything. 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 Watch this. Everything just changed. Give him glory. Give him glory. Everything just changed. Everything just changed. Everything just changed. Everything. 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 Everything just changed. Your last name. Your last name just changed. Your last name just changed. You're going from Miss to Mrs. You're going from Miss to Mrs. Shout it out. One person that's got your whole who about that boss that's got the Holy Ghost. Grab that one person that's got the Holy Ghost. Grab that one person that one partner that's got the Holy Ghost. That one for the next 22 seconds, you gonna pray for that neighbor. Rabba kada na mashe kada ya bosata. Rabba kama mama masha tere de boko shaya. Rebeko baba basho to rabashata. You're gonna pray that they finish strong. You're gonna pray that they won't check out. They won't give up in the fight. They won't give up. They'll understand that when God gives them victory, that they got authority. I need you to pray for that neighbor for the next 22 seconds. Pray for their mind. Pray for their spirit. Pray for their body. They won't give up. When I count to three, I need you to pray for that neighbor that they won't give up. They won't throw in the towel. They won't get weary in well doing. God, give them back their strength. God, give them back their strength. God, give them back their strength. When I count to three, you're going to pray for that neighbor. You're going to intercede for that neighbor. You're going to command everything that's been draining them. You're going to command every leech that's been draining them. Loose them and let them go. In the name of Jesus, they won't die prematurely. They won't give up prematurely. They won't throw in the towel prematurely. They won't quit prematurely. We're destroying a quitting spirit. In the name of Jesus, they'll have tenacity, perseverance, and long suffering. When I count to three, I need you to speak strength and pray for that neighbor. One, God get ready to come in. God get ready to do a work. God get ready to touch in their mind. Two, never should have messed with their child. Never should have messed with their family. When I count to three, pour strength into them. One, two, three, press it. For that neighbor, come on Zion, come on Zion, come on Zion, come on Zion, come on Zion. Pray for that neighbor, pray for that neighbor, come on, come on. Some of y'all looking at me, I need you to pray for that neighbor, pray for that neighbor. Call on the name of Jesus, call on the name of Jesus, call on the name of Jesus for your neighbor. Come on Zion, press it. Come on, Zion! Come on, Zion! 
We command it to break! We command it to break! 